A wealthy man, Mr. Johnson, had a precious vase uh -oh. that he valued more than all other belongings. One day, the vase disappeared. The man was miserable. An hour after he discovered it was missing, he got a message. If you don't come here in 10 minutes with $100,000, your vase will be broken. There was a photo attached to the message. Mr. Johnson realized it was some hotel. In that area, there were three of them, the Hero of California, Hummingbird, and Youth Hostel. Where should the man go? Mr. Johnson should hurry to Hummingbird. It's the only hotel that has the seventh floor. Amanda was in the middle of a burning room. The only window was small and too high for the woman to reach. There was also nothing to climb or stand on. There was no rope, neither was there a door. And still, in a matter of seconds, Amanda was outside. How is it possible? There was no door in the room. The woman just ran out through the doorway. A woman is sitting in her cabin in Ohio, but four hours later, she gets out of her cabin in Arizona. How did she do it? The woman is a pilot, and the cabin is actually the cockpit of the plane she flies. One night, Kevin broke into a rich house. He knew its owner had just bought a unique diamond. The thief managed to get through one of the trickiest security systems he'd ever seen. And here it was, the diamond. After grabbing the gem, Kevin got out of the house. But when he was already outside the gate, two security guards caught him. The guy tried to persuade the men he was only a passerby, but they didn't believe him. They searched Kevin, but found nothing. The guards were puzzled and decided the thief had swallowed the diamond. But X-Ray also didn't show anything strange. The security guards had to let Kevin go. The guy got home and in a few minutes, he had the diamond in his hands. How did he smuggle it? When Kevin broke into the house, he wasn't alone. His parrot was with him. After getting the precious stone, the guy attached it to the parrot's foot. And the bird brought the diamond back home. Paul was a young but very talented chemist. He was going to attend a very important conference where he had to present his latest work. But right before the event, Paul's envious colleague locked the guy in his lab. There was no way he could get out of there on his own. In the middle of the room, there was a test tube with some bright purple liquid inside. There was also a note. This mixture will blow up in one minute. You've got only one chance to neutralize it with one of these ingredients. If you add the correct one, the reaction will stop. Here's the clue you'll need to figure out the needed ingredient. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. And don't hope your chemical knowledge will help here. Luckily, Paul was very smart and managed to find the right ingredient before the time ran out. Which one was it? It's a row of letters from H to O. It means the needed ingredient is H2O, which is water. Two identical vans were crossing the bridge when it collapsed. The car fell into the water and started to sink. Luckily, the drivers were unharmed. But they had to find the way to the surface really fast because the vans started to fill with water. One of the men began to push the driver's door and the other was trying to open the side door. Who has the higher chances of survival? The first driver won't be able to open the door because of the water pressure. But the side door in the second car is a sliding one. With some effort, the second driver will be able to open it and escape. One person can dig a hole within one day. Then how long will it take two people to dig half a hole? There's no such thing as half a hole. Look at these pictures and try to figure out which mirror is magical. It's the one on the right. 
It shows the man wearing a mustache, but in real life, his face is clean-shaven. Betty was having lunch in her favorite cafe when several police officers came in. They were looking for a criminal who had escaped from the police station the day before. Betty started to look around, examining the visitors. She spotted the criminal even faster than the officers did. Who was it? Look at the barman. He's wearing handcuffs. Daniel wanted to go to the seaside with his friends in the summer, but his father reminded the guy he'd promised to help in his parents' store. When the man saw how upset his son was, he offered him a deal. Daniel had to solve several riddles, and then he'd be free to go and have fun with his friends. So, our customers often ask us to sell them something that's full of holes but can still hold water. What should we offer them? After a while, Daniel found the right answer. What's this mysterious thing? It's a sponge. Daniel's father continued, I'm thinking of introducing a new method of pricing the things we sell. Socks will cost $20, a tie will be $12, you'll have to pay $28 for a sweater, and a coat will cost $16. Based on this pricing method, how much will be a t-shirt? Do you know the answer? Daniel was confused at first, but then he realized the correct answer was $24. His father was going to charge $4 for each letter needed to spell the item of clothing. You're doing really well, Daniel's father told the guy. That's why I'll give you just one more riddle. If you crack it, you can have some rest in the summer. 81 times 9 equals 801. This equation isn't correct. What can you do to make it true? This riddle took Daniel quite a while. And how fast can you solve it? All Daniel had to do was turn the equation upside down. Luckily, the guy managed to figure it out. He got 108 equals 6 times 18. Jason was a courier who regularly delivered food and other stuff to Mrs. Brown. The elderly lady really liked him a lot. She trusted him enough to let the guy use her spare key. The lady kept it under her doormat. When Mrs. Brown was away, Jason would take this key and leave everything he brought inside. One day, the guy came to the woman's house and found out the key wasn't in its usual place. He rang the bell, and a man he'd never seen before opened the door. I'm an electrician, he said. I was fixing some lighting problems in the living room, and the elderly lady is resting now. Jason immediately called the police. Why? The criminal entered the house with the help of the spare key. Paul came back from his lunch break and saw that someone had spilled coffee all over his documents. He cried out, and this attracted his boss's attention. The man decided to figure out who had spoiled Paul's work. He asked his subordinates what they had been doing during their lunch break. Nancy and Liza said they had been together. They went to a cafe to get some coffee. Brian explained that he'd felt unwell. That's why he decided to take a walk in the park. And Sandra said that she'd been talking to her boyfriend on the phone. The boss immediately realized who was lying. Can you figure it out? It was Sandra. There's a sign on the wall that prohibits the employees to use their phones in the office. It means the girl couldn't be speaking with her boyfriend. A wealthy businessman disappeared right from his home one afternoon. His wife called the police. The detective arrived and questioned everyone who was in the house at that time. The cook said that she'd been preparing dinner and hadn't left the kitchen. The maid claimed she had been cleaning the dining room after the businessman and his wife had had lunch. And the wife said that after lunch, she'd been sunbathing and swimming in the pool. The detective immediately realized who was behind the man's disappearance. Do you know the answer? It was the wife. Look outside. It's late fall and there's no water in the swimming pool. Jeffrey was on a plane, 
ready to have his first parachute jump, when he started to panic. Without putting on his parachute, the guy jumped out of the plane, and still, he remained absolutely unharmed. How is it possible? The plane was still on the ground. There's a large apple tree growing on a cliff. If a powerful wind is blowing towards the land, where will the apples fall? In any case, they will fall down. 